All right. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Poco. All right. Now your boy is here today. I heard you, Horn Rain Scrubs, want to learn some flow charts. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to learn some flow charts. I want to learn some frame traps. So let me show y'all what to do. And let's get right into it. All right. So um, out of Flamingo, we're going to focus on the frame traps on left Flamingo. And we're going to focus on the frame traps of right Flamingo. This is right Flamingo right here. We how to manually enter it. It's four new to four. If I can do it, yes, which I can. Boom. So, um, let's start off with the basic frame traps of uh, Left Flamingo. So, Left Flamingo will be one, two, three, one, two, three, right? One, two, three. One, two, three, one, four. One, two. That is your basic frame trap. Or one, two, three, down, yeah. four, one. Or one, two, three, back, four. Or one, two, three. And it jabs again. You feel me? That's probably your best frame trap. One, two, one, jab, you feel me? Or one, two, um, um, you feel me? For a mid check, just in case they try to duck jab or anything like that, or anything of the sort. But that is your basic frame trap. As you can see, I will get counter hit every single time if I try to press something. Maybe a jab at best with trade, but if, if I try to press any other button, I will get counter hit. Alright, so my next frame trap will be out of right flamingo, right? We're talking about left we talked about left flamingo, we're talking about right flamingo. This is just your basic frame trap. Now I will go into uh, a little bit of specials at the end on how to beat them in pressing in flamingo period. If they try to press if you go on flamingo. Because you can be okay, so you can beat it by one two. But if they do one two, they move they can either jab or start trade or the dig jab. And when they trade the plus four so you don't want to do that right i'll show you towards the end on how to beat that <clears throat> but for starters we're going to do right from lingo so the right from lingo uh frame trap will be this boom right so as you can see if i to press you can't even match a jab on this because the um the mid that's out of right from four or right from mingo so it's really right from four it's 13 frames. So if I try a big jab, I'll get beat out every single time. And, and that's really it in terms of frame traps. Now, you can implement your frame traps here, such as down back four, right? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Down back four, you could do the same thing. I'll be, care be careful because this is. Heavy, this can be sidestepped heavy, but it's still an option, it's still a thing. Frame traps and right before are so easy to do. So say you do hell sweep, this is a frame trap. Like it's it's genuinely easy out of right before to do a frame trap. Alright, so the mix-ups. The mix-ups, um excuse me, is very simple. Um I'm not gonna go too deep in it, but basically your mix-up is skyrocket down three four. I I'll tell you about down three four in a bit, but I do need to point out that the next video I will be making, I, I got a lot to make, man. In terms of videos, man, I gotta get into it. <clears throat> I gotta stop slacking. But the the main video that's coming next is how to do just friends skyrocket, right? and this is to stop instant duck because it's just a good mid check. It's safe. A really good move that all home range players should do even if you want to be at a competent level because this move will eliminate a lot of problems this, this starts to mix this is this is your everything right so your your main mix is down to four I either either so when you want to apply your mix ups is when um either in the in the loops whenever you see them ducking right or for the most common thing is off your OP teammate, right? After you get a little knockdown, whatever, then you want to do a little, you want to do a little four four two, or a little skyrocket. My bad, a little sky, a little skyrocket, or a down three four. Now, to show you the mix out of down three four, it's very simple. It's very simple. So without heat, your mix is it's it's simple. You can either go into a mix or a little poke with the down four four. Or you can go back three with a big mix. 
or you can do um down three four and then three to the four or huh, down three four to three to the four um, what down three four and then three to the four thank you down three four and then three to the four down three four and uh, uh, uh down three which is only minus thirteen on block and uh, wait, wait 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 my bad down three four and uh, up four and three which knocks down completely and it's safe granted the move is slow all right and you could do down three four and then boom in the one which is Basically, your mix is all the mids, all the mids, and one one uh, other thing, which I'm gonna show y'all right now. Down three four and that hook, and then you can apply. You can keep going for the mix. You can keep going for the pressure. You can go for the mid, whatever you want to do. I'm not gonna sit here and explain what you should be doing and whatnot. Figure out what works best, works best for you, and try to revolve around that or gotta find something different because there is counters to everything and <clears throat> I, I'll be honest there is no definitive best answer to do right or the best thing to do so let's keep that in mind that is your clear mix now when you see heat this is really your mix right either that or like I showed before in the other video. That's your mix. So, um, that's really it for the basic frame traps and mix ups. I'm not gonna go too deep in it. This video is gonna be a little bit short, like I said. But at the end, there's two strings in particular, two goaded horn jab strings that beat out. Um, the mix. Now remember how I said that you can you know, jab, jab, do this, or jab, you know, trade. What if I told you he had options to be both of those, right? So the one that beats dug jabs and um, jabs in general, if they try to press, is this. This is 100% guaranteed. They can't do nothing about it. Yeah. Step it. They can't do nothing. It's, 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 it's good. And it forces a complete plus 21. It forces a complete mix up at the wall. So be careful because this is tempo and it can force the mix up. But for the most part, right? For the most for the most part, this is completely interrupted. Minus eight on block, right? Pushback with pushback. So you can use this to your advantage, right? And the other one that do it, but you can you can go under pressure depending on how you like it. Flappy kick. Now this move is special because this is the move I was talking about with the 10 frame launch, right? If they decide to press, this you get a full launch. While with the mid, you're more safer. So I, I, I'm I'm just gonna tell you off rip. I recommend you guys to go for the mid, the one two four three. I recommend going that instead of one uh one two four four. I rather I do four three. That is the more safe option, and you won't risk losing getting ducked and launched. Now if you want to go for that risk go for it right but if you know for a fact and i've done this i'm not gonna go sit here and lie to y'all but if y'all know for a fact you're gonna press then you can do this go for big damage 87 but all right um that's really it short video like i said for the person that uh wanted this video so badly i know i'm a little late on it but here you go, man. I hope this video helps you. I hope this video helps everyone out. I hope y'all have a blessed day. A blessed day. Oh, I did not just say that. I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll see y'all guys later. Peace.